Welcome. This is Ignite Kingdom Talk. Make the marketplace the miracle place. This episode of Ignite Kingdom Talk is sponsored by Patriot Mobile, America's only Christian conservative wireless network provider. You can find out more and sign up today at patriotmobile.com. Hey guys, welcome back, Craig and Desiree. Guys, we're so excited to have our special guest here on Ignite Kingdom Talks. Today, we've got Paul Crouch Jr. Man, I, yes, guys, I love this guy. I've only had a chance to talk with him really one other time. You and I got together at the hotel. You were working on something, a set there in Omaha mm -hmm. at LOH Church, I think. Mm -hmm. And we got to talk and, and man, it was like, I think we talked for two hours. <laughs> well, <laughs> as you know, I've been around a long time. I, hopefully I'm much younger than I actually, or look younger than I actually am. But I realized today is my 50th year in broadcasting wow. and in television. And I go around, I'm seeing some of these millennials run around. They weren't even born when this technology and when I got started, yeah. you know, but I've seen what God can do with technology. Mm -hmm. You know, cameras and lights and all of that are just tools, but it's what we do with the tools yeah. that's important. Yeah. Yeah, and it's and, and it's so it's so important, and, and you guys will know his mom and dad, Paul and Jan Crouch, and and I, I remember watching that. I mean, Paul, you and I are close mm -hmm. to the same age, but at the same time, it's like I, I grew up with them. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I grew up with that with that ministry, and mm -hmm. and and your dad being so excited about these shooting these satellites up yeah. and up into space, and 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 his passion for mm -hmm. to get the to get the ministry out. Well. And, his, the one driving scripture for him, and we all know the scripture well is Mark 16, 15, go into all the world yeah. and yeah. preach the gospel. Yeah. And he knew there was no way to do that on horseback or by airplanes or books or literature. He realized broadcasting and TV had to be a part of that solution. So his technology that he really pioneered and understood, number one was broadcasting, mm -hmm. which is putting a transmitter on top of a mountain or a tower in a city. Yep and broadcasting that to that market. And then satellite, he was a true pioneer in satellite. And where a satellite, you shoot a signal up uh, to a bird 26,000 miles in space, and then it rains down over mm -hmm. whole continents, over North America, South America, Europe, Asia, whatever. So th that was really his pioneering era. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and God blessed it, and, and like I said, I had seen as a little boy, I was 13 when, I, when TBN started in 73, yeah. and I literally saw, saw what God will do with two simple people. You know, my, my dad said many times, he goes, if I were to go pick two people to start one of the largest broadcasting networks in the world today, mm -hmm. not Christian, but I mean, encompassing everything, yeah. he goes, the last two people I would have picked is Paul and Jan Crouch. Mm. My parents had no money, little money. I mean, we were middle class growing up. My dad was a businessman. My mom was just mom. Mm -hmm. You know, they couldn't sing, they couldn't preach, they weren't pastors, they weren't, you know, they didn't have a congregation to back them up. They didn't have wealthy friends, but God chose them anyway. And the issue and the lesson really for you and all of us mm -hmm. is they were obedient. Mm. And when God called them, they said, yes, wow. we'll go. Well, wow. when you're saying that, just quick, I was thinking about Noah, who, yes. mm. and it was his family, you know, that God said, build, build an ark. And it, it had never rained. They didn't know what rain was, but God, he, they, he was obedient to the right. voice of the Lord. And obviously with your parents, the same thing, because that's not, an, like you grew up in it. They didn't grow up in it, so it'd be like, okay, Lord, you have to give us all the strategies, right. all the wisdom, the plans, yeah. lay it out, just like you did for Noah, saying you need to build this this big, and, and gave him all of the dimensions. Right. That's what the Lord did, and they were obedient to do it. They, they were obedient, and the key to that whole thing, though, is the fact that when God accomplishes something, he gets the glory, yeah, amen. and yeah. not man. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. not the Donald Trumps and the wealthy that built TBN. It was truly the widow's might yeah. and people coming together, seeing a vision. And this is another lesson for us today. If we will ever just get together 
and work together as Christians yeah. Amen. and not fight and fuss over this or that or right wing, left wing, Democrat, this. Yeah. If we'll just focus on a lost and hurting world that yeah. needs the Lord, it's amazing what can be accomplished if we'll stay to, stick together and work together. Wow, well, well, I've seen your dad. I, I've seen your dad <laughs> sitting in that chair right there saying, Bless you. saying those words. I love that. So Paul, you've been around <laughs> this technology mm -hmm. forever. <laughs> It, 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 you have to be shocked, surprised at, at how fast it seems to be changing now. Mm -hmm. You were just showing me before we came on the, the picture of the old tank, the, the big old camera. It, it, what, what would you say about some of the changing technology? Well, I, I get excited about it. Um, you know, this technology is to be used for the kingdom purpose mm -hmm. or a kingdom purpose. You know, the fact that... And, even as a 13, 14 year old kid, a camera was 120 pounds, the size of a small Volkswagen. You know, a video recorder was uh, $250,000 in 1970 dollars. And it would record one hour and it was the size of this wall over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to know that all of that technology is in this. Mm. And if you'd have said to me as a 13, 14, 15 year old kid, you're going to have a whole TV studio in a little box the size of a, you know, of a little, of like a loaf of bread. Yeah. I'd say you're nuts. Mm. Yeah. And there's better cameras, there's better editing, there's better graphics. I can do audio in this thing. So it really is mind blowing um, to know where technology has gone. But these are tools. These are simple tools. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I tell the story that, you know, you can hand a hammer to one guy and he'll go build a beautiful building and another guy will take a hammer and just sit and break rocks with it. Yeah. So it's how we mm -hmm. use the tools that is important. And the thing that was sad for many years, we used to talk about this on TBN, is the church used to preach against technology. Mm -hmm. You know, when radio first came out, oh, can't be in radio. Movies were evil. My dad said as a little boy, if he went to a movie theater and Jesus came, he wouldn't, he wouldn't go. Yeah. He'd, he'd, well, I think you heard you're that. probably similar. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, and they preached against films, movies, internet, music, and it's baloney. We right. should be the the on the cutting edge of all of these technologies. Mm -hmm. The internet. Don't do the internet. Work with the internet. It's evil, evil, evil. Yeah, there's a lot of evil everywhere in this world. There's people sinning all around us out these windows here. But we must use this technology to touch and affect people's lives. Mm -hmm. And I think Christians should be on the cutting edge and not always kind of lagging behind other uh, networks or other things going yeah. on. Yeah. Well, I look at you know what you're talking about for technology, and it has done so much to impact the kingdom of darkness Correct. and the evil, and it just spreads even quicker. And how great would it be if the kingdom of light, the kingdom of heaven used it for God's glory well, for and abundant. Impact. We are. Trust me, yeah. we are. It's easier to focus on the negative, uh, and it's easy to curse the darkness, but I'm out lighting candles oh, everywhere. Yeah. And I'm working with dozens and dozens of different ministries that are using this technology to, you know, to fight human trafficking, mm -hmm. to deal with addiction and, and you know, people that are caught up in uh, different things that are pulling their their lives down. So we are using it. We don't always know what everybody else is doing and we can get discouraged, but I know hundreds and thousands of ministries that are using the internet Amen. and the internet's changed everything. In fact, it's, it's blown up the taxi industry with Uber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's changed the hotel industry with Airbnb and the broadcasting and the way we get TV signals to and from you know, mm -hmm. a part A to part B or point A to point B is just, it's, it's mind numbing what the internet has done. Yeah. And I'll, in a minute, I'll read you a scripture. I'll look it up, but everybody in America and literally almost around the world is carrying a little TV set mm -hmm. on their hip or yeah. in their purse. And that's something my dad did not get to see, you know, before he went to glory and was promoted, this was a phone to him. Yeah. You just made phone calls. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. But man, what is it now? It's mm. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a TV, it's a two-way communicator. And I can look up, uh, if I'm hurting, 
or I, I've lost a loved one, or, or I, I need counseling of some, I can find it. Yeah. But it's up to us to create the content that will feed mm -hmm. into this technology that, that is important, and that's what I'm focused on too. Guys, we're talking to Paul Crouch Jr., and, and he's gonna be one of our keynote speakers at the Ignite Conference coming up. You guys need to go and register at ignite-cb.com and you're gonna hear some great speakers. But guys, I wanna, sh I wanna play you a quick video of the upcoming Ignite Conference. you want to go register we believe that this conference is going to sell out because we've got some great keynote speakers like paul Krauss jr and paul you had you had a verse for us i do you know when I, we were talking earlier and my dad truly was a pioneer and understood satellite and broadcasting he was actually in radio for a while even before tvn but we are dealing with like you said, new technology. I mean, these cameras here are the size of my hand. I mean, mm -hmm. that just is mind blowing. But the internet has changed everything. Mm -hmm. The way we get content, or the way we search for content, the way we, we interact. But if I had come to you guys 25 years ago and said, what is a cloud? Well, you just look out the window. I see some over here. There's a couple over here. A white cloud was a puffy thing in the sky. Mm -hmm. Well, what is the cloud today? It's a synonymous word, literally, for the internet. Every piece of data that we see through our phone or even on a TV or even in your home now goes through the cloud. The cloud is the internet. It's, yeah. it's this World Wide Web. I found a, a scripture in Revelation 14, John the Revelator, I think may have had a little glimpse into something cool. And he said, and then I saw a white cloud and seated on the cloud was someone like the son of man. He had a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came from the temple and shouted to the one sitting on the cloud. He said, swing your sickle wow. for the time of harvest has come. The crop on earth is ripe. Mm. So the one sitting on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth mm. Mm. and the whole earth was harvested. Wow. It's sickle time. I believe that. And, and that's, mm. that's what I know burned in the heart of my father mm. was to reach the final harvest. You know, he thought he would see it in his lifetime. He really did think he would see the return of Christ or the rapture or whatever. But he wanted to see the, the, the earth harvested yeah. Yeah. and the one sitting on the cloud. I really believe that that is a message for us yeah. all and you watching that we are to use technology. We're to use this mm -hmm. cloud technology to reach the lost, to touch and affect people's lives. There are hurting people all over the world yeah. and this cloud technology will get to places we cannot go physically. We cannot go to North Korea and minister. I'm sorry, you'd either be killed or arrested for yeah. sure. We cannot go into the middle of Iraq or Iran 
and preach the gospel, you would be killed. So the cloud technology can literally get anywhere. And now with Elon Musk and Starlink or Skylink or Starlink, whatever that is, he has launched hundreds of satellites that are literally encompassing the earth and we can get internet anywhere, including Antarctica. That's one place you couldn't get TV in yeah. was Antarctica. Yeah. But now you can. Wow. So I, I'm excited. I, I, you know, I'm getting a little older, but I, I still get excited every day mm -hmm. about, you know, these tools and what can we do to use them effectively. Well, what would you say? Because I mean, you've got that same passion that your dad, that your dad had. Mm -hmm. How do you, you're, you know, you're talking to, you know, our audience is, is kingdom entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. business owners, kingdom, kingdom minded people, people that do want to make a difference in the, in, in, in our city and in our nation. But how do we get that? How do you, how would you encourage someone to get that kind of passion again? Well, passion is, you know, that's a good question. It's something that sometimes you either have or you don't. But I think the way I continue to stoke probably my passion is on occasion, and it's rare, I see the results of what seeds we planted or I did, or, you know, I helped a ministry do this and people were touched or saved. I'll give you an interesting story, you know, because I, I grew up at TBN, worked with TBN, and but I haven't worked for TBN for the last few years directly. And uh, but people still recognize me on occasion, you know. From I'm looking more and more like my dad. I'm being I'm being yeah. told that. But I was with my wife Brenda. We were walking at a mall somewhere, and uh, this guy I could see. He turned. He looked at me, and I could see he recognized me. But this guy looked like a, a, a gang member. In fact, he was an ex-gang member. I mean, he had the pentagram, he's bald, Mexican guy, and had the pentagram tattooed on his head, like a satanic pentagram. Mm -hmm. He had tattoos all down here, all these things down his arm with flames and devils and all this stuff. And he starts making a beeline right towards me. Oh. And I'm going, uh, Brenda, this is either gonna go really well or it's gonna go really bad. Yeah. He said, I don't think, I said, I kind of joked, he said, I don't think I can take this guy. He looks pretty tough. Mm. And he came up to me and he, <laughs> he literally had tears in his eyes. Mm. Mm. And he came to me and he hugged me. And he said, Paul Jr., he said, I was in prison in uh, Phoenix. He said, I said, I'd gone up for a long term. I didn't want to know. He had three little uh, teardrops down his cheek, which you don't want to know what that means. Mm -hmm. But, and he hugged me and he said, Paul, I watched you guys in prison. And he said, well, I got wonderfully saved. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, now I'm crying, he's crying. Mm -hmm. And he said, and Brenda came up and realized I was going to live through this. He wasn't going to kill me. <laughs> and he, he just said, thank you, thank you. And he called up, and he had a beautiful wife, three little, three little boys. Mm. And he mm. said, my family, we all serve the Lord, and I'm a pastor mm. of a church in, in the city that we were in. So mm. when you see things like that, and you see the results of seeds you planted 20 years ago, mm. or what have you, um, it, 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 that's, that keeps the passion yeah. going, that yeah. keeps me going. I'll never know, my folks will never know. Well, they know now the impact they had, because yeah. yeah. they're both in glory, you know, overlooking, uh, you know, as a great cloud of witnesses overlooking that balcony. Oh. But I know what they would be saying if they could communicate to us right now. Yeah. They would say, don't stop. Mm. Do not stop. We're, we, they've got their great reward, but there are still, as you know, hurting people, unsaved people, divorces, children being abused. I mean, things that, that just are horrible mm. to even think about. But we have the solution, we yeah. do, and yeah, it's in the Bible. Yeah. And we've got to do everything we can to get that out. One of the things I was thinking about, so your parents, yes, mm. affected 
you. Mm-hmm. Is there two siblings? How many siblings? Yeah, myself and Matt, my Okay, brother. so two. Yeah. And how, you know, you guys grew up under their ministry. Sure. And saw what your dad and mom did. Mm-hmm. And then you learned from them and they were hearing from the Lord. Mm-hmm. And now look at what you're doing and how you're impacting the world. You really are with technology and because it doesn't just what you do isn't going to just be in Texas. It is literally going out Amen. and yeah. just the blessing and favor of the Lord that has generational unto your children and yeah. and to come. Well, and I, I have a son uh, that's following up in my footsteps mm-hmm. that's doing production and directing and working with Mariner's Church. And, you know, mm. he directs. Uh, concerts for Hillsong and oh. Chris Tomlin and I mean working for all these different ministries so he's following up and now I've got you know four grandchildren all coming up now they're too young to really their oldest one's eight but you know we've got even another generation if the Amen. Lord tarries yeah. you know mm. that uh, yeah. hopefully we'll we'll see you know what can be done with technology yeah. but like i said technology is silly and it's ridiculous if it doesn't have a purpose yeah des can you pray over yeah over paul i will and um this verse i just have to share this verse that's come to my mind a couple times and your parents and how they didn't take the glory mm-hmm. how they didn't take the credit and the lord says you know he's given us the ability to produce wealth and mm-hmm. it's it's not in our might, it's not in our, it's, it's in our hands, but it, in our hands being obedient to right. the things that the Lord says to use them, how Noah built, with his hands built the ark. And you, the ark that your parents built is saving so many. Mm. It's not just your family, right. but multitudes. And so, yeah. Lord, mm. we just thank you. We thank you, Lord, for Paul Crouch Jr. Yeah. We thank you for thank his you beautiful for wife, Lord, for the beautiful family. And Lord, I just thank you that you have so much more in store. That God, even as you gave Joseph strategies and divine wisdom, Lord, to save a nation, Lord, we are saying that there is divine strategies to save this nation and that Paul Crutch Jr. and his family is going to be part of that, Lord, that it's a continual process from his parents to him to his kids and so on, Lord, the generational blessings, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that it's in you. He lives, he moves, he has his being. And Lord, the best things are yet to come. The latter will be greater than the former. And that, Lord, his parents from heaven, Mm. are cheering him on and saying, look at what my son has done. And God, even as you were in heaven and you said, this is my son whom I'm well pleased, Lord, that those are the words that are coming, not just from you, the heavenly father, but from his father and mother in heaven. And so, Lord, we just say more grace, more favor, multiplied blessings over him and his family in Jesus' name. And everything he puts his hands to, Lord, let it be blessed and let it be of you. Yeah. Amen. Paul, how can they find out more information on you? Probably the best way um, is through our, my, I have a website for our company. It's just PJ Video, PJ being Paul Jr., uh, pjvideo.com. And it, it has listings of uh, some studios, things that we're building that I was showing, showing you guys. I was telling a lot of the guys here, I have built almost an identical studio in Anaheim, mm-hmm. uh, California. We're obviously in Dallas right now, but uh, you know, overlooking the windows and it's it's a cool concept and I like it. But pjvideo.com yeah. is there and you can see uh, all of it. And uh, and then my wife Brenda Brenda Crouch, uh, you just go to brendacrouch.com and she has her ministry yeah. side. She of just her got a website. book. She's got a book called Fight Forward, talks about her story and past. And, and she's, you know, we're doing a lot of cool video stuff with her too, uh, podcasting and different things. And that, that, that is growing. And she and I host a, a program together called Breakpoint, well, kind of like what y'all do, are yeah. doing here with different guests. And, um, you know, just like I said, we're just swinging every time we get to the plate Amen. and yeah. just doing what we can to, uh, to help. Paul, thank you yes. so much. And guys, you guys. guys you, you need to come here, Paul Crouch Jr. at the Ignite Conference. Go to ignite-cb.com. This, is, this, is, this has been fun. This has been great. Bless and guys, you. thanks for joining us here at Ignite Kingdom Talk. We'll see you again. God bless.